Celebrating heart health this month, I want to show you how to make a heart healthy stir fry. We're going to be using curry for spice and something called pum fu. It's a soy free version of tofu, which is really rich in protein and zinc. So it adds a nice touch to this heart healthy stir fry. Let's get cooking. To make our curry using pump fu, which is a type of tofu that is soy free, just made from pumpkin seeds, we're gonna be using one pack of this. This is eight ounces of pump fu. We're using organic cultured coconut yogurt. I'm gonna be using some curry powder, turmeric, sea salt. Here I have three cloves of garlic minced. You can also use a teaspoon of minced ginger if you like. I have some olive oil, one medium sized onion chopped two cups of sliced mushrooms. And here we have one bunch of broccoli, three heirloom carrots peeled, and a quarter head of cabbage. So I'm warming this pan. It's a large pot over medium heat. I've got a tablespoon or so of olive oil in there. Once it gets nice and hot, I'm gonna add my onions and garlic. And you're gonna saute that for just a couple of minutes until the onions start to soften. To help the onions to soften faster, you can add a pinch of your salt. After a few minutes has passed, you can go ahead and add your sliced mushrooms. And at this point, you can add the rest of your salt, curry powder, and turmeric. I've got one teaspoon of curry powder and a half a teaspoon of turmeric. You can feel free to use more curry powder if you like, and you can even use other spicy options like cayenne pepper if you really like spice. Cook and stir this for a couple of minutes, and then we're actually going to cover it with a lid to help the mushrooms to soften faster. All right, let's see how our mushrooms and onions are doing. So now our mushroom and onion have softened nicely. At this point, I'm going to add the carrots. I'm also adding our coconut yogurt at this point. Move that around. Cover and let that cook for another minute. Okay, so you can see that everything's cooking very nicely, and at this point, we're going to add all of our remaining ingredients, which include the cabbage, the eight ounces of pum fu, which I cut up into little bite-sized squares, and this is a lot of broccoli. If you wanna use less, that's fine. It sort of depends on the size of your bunch of broccoli. I'm gonna add uh, most of it, maybe not quite all of it. And by the way, this is a light amount of pum fu for each person. This is to serve four. If you do want to add another container of the pum fu, you can do that. So give that a nice stir, cover it, and let it cook for a few more minutes. So here's our finished product looking great. You want to get to that point where everything is kind of crisp tender, but you don't want to overcook the broccoli. So I'm going to take this off the heat now and you can serve it over a portion of quinoa. And there is your delicious and nutritious soy-free curry stir fry. Just gonna top it off with a little sprinkling of fresh chopped cilantro, and it's ready to serve. Bon appetit. So I hope you enjoyed watching how to make this delicious stir fry and using a new product that's totally soy-free. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new cooking videos every week. Thanks for watching.